Well, I was on assignment in Bardstown today, and it was very rainy there. Mm. It was very rainy here. I was doing <laughs> yeah. a school up in Cynthiana. Yeah. It was pretty rainy there. Oh, Everywhere. not as rainy there as it was Lexington and Point Southward. So, I don't know exactly where you were. Let's go ahead and show you where the rain is now. How can we do that? How can we do that, guys? By magic. TV well, magic. I was going to say Max Track, but it's kind of magic, well, too. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> These invisible waves go out and tell us where the rain is. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of like magic. So here we go. Hey, well, well, let's do a little meteorology here. You see kind of a comma shape going on here. What have we got? We've got a little area of low pressure sitting right about here. So if you've got a home barometer somewhere around, take a look at it. And you know, over the next little bit, you be, should begin to see it going up if you're to the west of I-75, it likely is still going to be uh, falling some as you look to the east, but there is a counterclockwise little spin right in here. So that's your overall setup. Bottom line is it's still raining for a lot of us. So with all that said, the rainfall has been a little heavier across the south and southeast today. Three quarters of an inch to around an inch of rain. As we go north and west, we're a quarter to around a half inch. Uh, balance, it strikes again, as it always does in weather. We get one more surge of rain this weekend, and then we start to break the pattern down, at least for a little while. Dry, and we'll say on, on the plus side of normal next week, for the most part dry. We have one rain day next week, but uh, it's not going to be terribly warm, but it's not going to be cold either. So with all that, how does balance come into play today? Well, back on Sunday, we were seven below zero. That's the fifth coldest January 21st we have recorded in Lexington. That temperature was roughly 25 degrees below normal. Today, we got to 63. That is roughly 20 degrees above normal. And so you average the two out, we average it back right toward the middle again. That's also what's amazing, a 70 degree swing over the course of just a few days. Well, that's the pendulum going one side to the other. Uh, you were talking about, well, it looks like a dry day for us tomorrow, but then the rain's back on Saturday, lasting into Sunday. Little rain chance comes in for us middle of next week. 61 and well, looking down from big blue, it is awfully foggy, but that's at least low clouds. East wind at seven, surface visibility still comes in at 10 miles. 58 right now in Cynthia as we shine the spotlight there after a high today of 61. Georgetown right now sits at 57, Winchester's 58, Lawrenceburg's 59, rest of the Mesonet hovering right around 60, West Liberty there, Somerset, Monticello's at 63. So what's going on as we look to our departures from normal? Alaska's cold, we're warm. Remember, that's always part of the balance that comes into play as well. So that's as of tomorrow. As we go look ahead, Alaska's staying cold. For us, we actually get temperatures that may try and chill a little bit. But look what happens here as we head toward the first weeks of February. Alaska begins to warm up. Cold air is beginning to bleed down the western part of the continent. Could that be the change back to winter where the seeds are being planted? Perhaps, but it's still a couple of weeks out. So we look to tonight and we've got rain still to deal with as the low begins to slide north. As it pulls north, it pulls the moisture along with or at least the rain making clouds along with it. Uh, clouds will still hold tough tomorrow. A little drizzle fog around tonight. During the day tomorrow, though, we may see a little break in the cloud cover, but the next storm is already beginning to line up down here to the south. This is the final one in this sequence, but it arrives for us on Saturday and with it another good soaking looks to be in the offing for us as we go through your weekend. With that, we were having a Bills Weather 101 today in Cynthiana and with it, we were at St. Edwards Catholic third, fourth and fifth graders that you see there. These were absolutely wonderful kids with today's Bills Weather 101. Tonight, clouds, rain, early in the night, the rain's ending. Drizzle and fog may linger for most of it. Upper 40s and it is a breezy night. Variable clouds, maybe some sun late. It's still a mild day in the mid 50s. Rain Saturday could end as a couple of snowflakes Sunday night into early Monday. Most of next week dry and seasonably mild.